HMH Audio presents Farewell to Manzanar A true story of Japanese-American experience during and after the World War II internment Written by Jean Wakatsky Houston and James D. Houston Read by Jennifer Ikeda To the memory of Ko Enriku Wakatsky and Woodrow M. Wakatsky Forward. When we first considered writing a book about the internment of Japanese Americans during World War II, we told a New York writer friend about the idea. He said, It's a dead issue. These days you can hardly get people to read about a live issue. People are issued out. I know it, my husband said. I'm issued out myself. The issue isn't what we want to write about. Everybody knows an injustice was done. How many know what actually went on inside? If they think anything, they think concentration camps. But that conjures up Poland and Siberia, and these camps weren't like that at all. So we set out to write about the life inside one of those camps, Manzanar, where my family spent three and a half years. We began with a tape recorder and an old 1944 yearbook put together at Manzanar High School. It documented the entire camp scene. The graduating seniors, the guard towers, the judo pavilion, the creeks I used to wade in, my family's barracks. As the photos brought that world back, I began to dredge up feelings that had lain submerged since the 40s. I began to make connections I had previously been afraid to see. It had taken me 25 years to reach the point where I could talk openly about Manzanar, and the more I talked, the clearer it became that any book we wrote would have to include a good deal more than day-to-day -day life inside the compound. To tell what I knew and felt about it would mean telling something about our family before the war, and the years that followed the war, and about my father's past, as well as my own way of seeing things now. Writing it has been a way of coming to terms with the impact these years have had on my entire life. To complete this book, we have had to rely on a good deal besides my own recollections. Many people helped make it possible, more than we can name here. We are especially grateful to all the members of the family who shared their memories and to these friends, Jack and Mary Takayanagi, Don Tanzawa, and Mary Duffield. We are indebted to the numerous writers and researchers whose sample complete. Ready to continue?